Hi. I'm going to do another abstract of something I saw, which I found very attractive on Country Fire BBC uh, last night. It was a, some sort of cottage on, on a horizon, a bit of landscape, but, but a few trees. But I want to paint it with juicy colour and see what we come up with. I'm going to use initially some of this uh, PVA glue diluted and I've prepared three of these boards this morning. They're, they're only small, they're, they're 10, 10 inches by 8, mainly because I've got this 10 by 8 frame, which was a gilt frame, well, cheap, gilt frame, a photograph frame. And I put a couple of coats of, of white over it and it, it sort of gave me a new lease of life. So, uh, now would you believe that was in the frame from Saturday? Think of Saturday. Somebody's interested in that one. So no accounting for taste. I try to please everybody, but what one person doesn't like, someone does. So I'm going to dip my brush into this PVA glue. It's, it's thinned down about 30%. So a bit of white. So let's put a bit of red, a bit of yellow. Let's just put in some nice rich colour. No attempt at any realism with with this. A bit of green. And I'll use a, a, a lemon yellow with some lovely, lovely black. Love black. Let's just cover the cover the canvas, the board. Could even canvas. And then a bit of sky. Now I'm always influenced by what skies are going over, but we'll a little bit of blue, so I'll put a bit of blue in. A bit of red in there. I don't want to spend a lot of time doing these. They are not exactly impressions, but uh, Painting feeling of what you f f things that you like about a landscape. You know, clouds, light. I think that you should be having fun with your painting. Otherwise. In other words, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, don't do it. Do something else or do a different view or different approach. Because we all have days when we don't really want to paint. But once you start, I always find that you, you tend to uh, get lost in it and things start to improve. Right, let's get some nice light colours in, in here. Bit of river. I've put my yellow where my white goes. I've used all my white up so I'm going to just clean clean it off. When you get paint or primer and plaster of Paris that I primed this ball with, <coughs> stick into your knife, just scrape them off with a standing knife. Or the craft blade, craft knife blade. Right, squeeze out some white. I've moved, I've changed the angle of my board and I've moved my camera over to the right so that I don't get, get in it. I've got to go quite a way over to spoil your view with my lovely mug. I'm using the Galleria paints, the Wilkinson's cheap paints. Very, very good value, 150. 
but don't all go down there because they might sell out before I need some more. Okay, let's get a, th a nice thick, thick sky, light colour in the sky. It's not bright enough. You can change, of course, very quickly with this. It does dry very quick. But you know, paint what you want to paint. And with a thick texture, you can drag over the high spots. that could be a river or stream. Let's put some some nice trees, wintry trees. Let's put in this. Oh, put another little building in there. Right, I want to build build up over here and in this foreground. So I want a nice bright green. The white. Really, the things that you want to, you want to see. I, I like the contrast of, of black silhouette against brighter background. I'm going to put some of the tree in, sort of going over that. I'm going to try to mix watercolours in with all this acrylic stuff. To please the watercolourists. But I'm trying to push myself into a new direction here. A great inspiration for me doing this type of painting is, um, is Jackie Gardner. Have a look at her on Google. Scottish artist, I keep mentioning her, but she really is. But what you don't want to do is, is to copy what they do. Well, if you're more advanced, you want to do your own thing, but be inspired by what they do, but find your own way to do, to do it. My thoughts are different from your thoughts. And, and what I like, you might not. Uh, just more light, more white. Just to repeat that through here. Nice thick, gloopy paint. Right, that's, it, it dries very quickly. 
and I'll put in I'll put the tree that's behind that cottage, I'll put it I'll put it in the back I'll put it here Well, it's just a bit of detail in the foreground, but that is about about a naive painting, maybe. But hey, it's a Uh, that's all I really want to do with that one. Uh, it's a landscape, but abstracted as far as I'm able at the moment. And you can fill in the gaps yourself. I can put it in the frame. We'll have a look. We'll see. See what it looks like. It's a bit, a bit risky putting out the, the picture straight on. Straight on the uh, this here because that's all covered in paint. So what I do is just to get a couple of bits of kitchen paper, just fold it and just stick it on there. So there we are, we've got another, almost a fove. Uh, let's bring you round. Well there we are. Um, from an impression inspired by a, a television program of, of a flat landscape with a, with a building. It had a tree over the top, but I didn't want to do that. I'll just move to one side. <coughs> Complementary colours, but black is a very dramatic statement, but modified, it, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful colour. Bit of foreground, it's probably not quite as abstract as I like, but I like the sky. I love the texture in, in the underpainting, in the priming. Just using Plaster of Paris as per my demonstration of preparing a board. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.